This is one of the facts of life that if you live in a city, you are going to be exposed to air pollution. You just have to accept that. Air pollution levels are measured continuously in our towns and cities and the information is available in almost real time through the internet. We can use that information together with the health advice to protect ourselves when high pollution levels are predicted to occur. And ozone episodes can be forecasted quite accurately. It should be possible to contact schools in an area and say we think that today you should not do outdoor activity because the ozone levels are high and that's detrimental for the respiratory health of your children. And if we realise that the traffic is generating the most pollution from early morning during the rush hour and the late afternoon rush hour, then those are the times when the pollution concentrations are highest. It's a sort of common sense bit of advice. If you are in a susceptible group and you know that air pollution is high, then think about what you're doing. If we're concerned about pollution coming from vehicles, then we should avoid walking down the busy roads. If you want to, you can not use your car as much. If you are somebody who tends to go running or jogging, then it's best to do that at times of the day when air pollution is less high. So in the summer when ozone is high, avoid running in the afternoon. People with asthma or chronic hay fever, they modify their behaviour when they know there's going to be a pollen episode. And that's exactly what we need to achieve with the air pollution information. The London Air website is good because you can find out the current pollution levels and you can also look at historic levels to see how air pollution varies throughout the places that you visit and the places that you work. We also create applications on mobile phones so that you can also access it while they're actually moving around the streets of London. The information that King's College can provide forecasting air pollution means that people can plan their journeys, they can choose to exercise inside, they can choose to take a different form of travel, walk on the back streets rather than on the main roads. And all of these things do actually make a difference to people's exposure.